Hi, my name is Vinay and in this video I will be demonstrating Macaron 3.8 software. So when you start up the software, so this is how the message shows the name and the company interested to. Okay, so I'm using a 3.8 version. So by default you can see that it loads up with a 14 nanometer technology rule file. Okay. So we might work continuously in this default rule file or you can change it from the file select boundary and you can select any of the given rule file from here. So Macrovin support right from micro uh, technology rule files till nanometer till FinFET. Okay. So this 14 nanometer is a FinFET technology so uh, I continue using this one. <clears throat> So I will be making a small inverter and demonstrating some of the tools feature. So what you see the black screen is assumed by the software is a p-tab substrate and on the top of it you can construct any of the layers. For example if you take a thin fat cage structure and you just draw a block. Okay. So this is how it will show. So you can press this button to create a 2D cross section. So just draw a line in between. And you can see that this is how the cross section shows of the fin fat gate. Now, if you take an entire diffusion and just draw a block and again take a 2D cross section, so this is how it looks. Okay. I would be explaining one by one. Okay, so let's clear up this. And in this demonstration, I would be just showing and creating the inverter and simulating it. So on the right hand side there is a palette window which is a quick access toolbar for the various shortcuts for the layers or simulation inputs or creating some components so i will be using a feature named as mozzanator so click on this and with the help of this you can generate the kind of moss you wish to have in your layout so i select a fin pet which is n type so you can see that uh, the maximum current in the drink current shows is around 0.2 milliamperes and you can change the number of fins and the fin length by the settings over here. So if I increase the fin uh, number of fins, so you can see the current almost doubles. So that's what it happens because this is the kind of width of the fin pet. Okay, so if I make it three, so you can see, yeah, so it's a proportional uh, gain of the current. Okay, so I just uh, keep it back to default value, which is two or maybe, okay, you can select four fins, okay. So that is the end time fin fit. So you can see it consumes or it can draw a uh, 0.4 <coughs> million pair of current. So just click on create and just place it on the clipboard. So this is how a fin fit looks like, okay. So you can see these are the fins and this is the gate in between, okay. On the right hand side, this is the blue color. What you see is the metal gates metal layers for the connectivity purpose the the square blocks what you see are the contact wires so if you take a 2d cross section and draw a line between through the contacts so you can see these are the contacts and that is the metal one layer this is the entire diffusion on the bottom and that is the gate okay you can even see the 3d view of the layout so it will have a better illustration of the layout. So here you can see that this is the gate material and you can see that it is being surrounded by the fins. So you can count one, two, three and four. So these were the four fins which we asked him to make for us. And he has placed three contacts on the end diffusion. Okay, connected with the metal one layer. Now the question comes up that why three, why not two or why not four? So microphone will place uh, as many number of contacts possible in a given area by following the rule files, the rules of the spacing and the size of the contact. If he can place four contacts in the given this length of the diffusion, he will place four. Okay. For example, if I just quickly make one and ask him to make pin six on the side so you can see that he has filled up with one two three four five five contacts okay so i'll just remove this <clears throat> okay 
now let's make uh, the companion of it which is the p type uh, transistor so i select p type and we place number of pins as four so you can see that the current is slightly less than the n type that is of the mobility of the transistor of the p type material here we have holes and less mobility and less current so I just you can see that when you place the transistor it shows the outline so you can align it easily and place it on top of each other or maybe adjust them to each other however you like okay now we have to connect these two transistors to form an inverter so I take a metal one layer because these two layers are metal one I just draw a block simply left click keep it clicked and release it when you want the shape to be created okay now select the pin pad gates and join these two blocks you can even extend and join it maybe i will show in the next videos okay so here we are inverter is ready for the simulation purpose now we have to just apply and uh, VDD supply so click on VDD so it's connect to the type 1 terminal again one more VDD for the envelope because this has to be reverse biased and ground for the N type other than that so this is our common terminal of P and N MOS so that is our output so I will name this as output mode so you can see that from the palette I access the visible node and place it on here I can call this as V out okay so that's just a variable and uh, to simulate this i have to apply an input to it so i will use a clock and connect to the gate terminal so you can call it as clock or whatever the name you wish to have it and uh, you can specify the time low and high so i just specify 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 as low and high assign it so here so our inverter is ready for simulation so before simulation we can see the 3d view of it so here we have already seen the nmos and that is our pmos so here we have the n well on top of it we have p type diffusion okay, okay. and uh, on top of it there is a gate and pins in between so here also we have the pins in between I just removed the metal layer so that it is a better view of the So here you can see these are the four fins of the PMOS and four for the NMOS. Okay. Yeah. So let's simulate this. So for simulation, you have to just click one button and you are ready to go. So it will simulate and show you the results. So you can see the rise time of the inverter is around 2.2 and fall is 1.6 and uh, it may vary slightly in the cycles to cycles so it's around 1.9 to 1.4 okay so we have more rise time than the fall time and that's because the nmos was having more current as compared to pmos so hence we have less fall time as compared to the rise time produced by the pmos okay so this is a simulation window where you can see the power consumed in this simulation cycle. You can see the rise and fall time which might be affected with any load coming on the output. So if I take a virtual capacitor from the word this pallet and place it on the output, and let me do the value very small, let's say 005 picofarad, so it's an infantofarad. So you might see some effect. So it is quite an effect. So you can see the rise time climbs to 12 picosecond and the fall time is around 8.5 picoseconds. Okay, and you can see the power has uh, gone up from 1 microwatt to 14 microwatts. Okay, so you can see the voltage versus current graph. So you can see the current consumed, the spike of the current in each crossover or the cycles of the graph. And you can also see the voltage versus voltage curve of the inverter you can ask him to show the crossover voltage uh, which is uh, 0.386 ideally it should be half of the supply 
which should be around 0.4 but this is close to 0.386 that is because the NMOS was stronger hence it is a little lower on the scale next okay you can even see the slope of this curve so that is minus 12.5 so that is the gain produced by the inverter and you might use as an amplifier but hence this is the slope of the curve okay you also have thickness versus time and eye diagram but probably for this application they not be suitable so this is a very basic inverter using 14 nanometer finfet uh, rule file of the macaron okay you can keep on extending this transistor and uh, make a bigger ones to reduce the rise and fall delay uh, i might be extending that in my next video okay thank you very much